Hey, good afternoon. This is Clay with Clay's AC and Auto Repair and Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If this video is helpful, please like, share, comment. Most of all, subscribe to my page. I love all the wonderful comments you send me. And like us on Facebook under Clay's AC and Auto. If you ever got any questions, give them to me on Facebook. It's easier for me to get the messages. Okay, so what we got is a 2011 Jeep Wrangler. Um, we had no blower motor going on in it. So what we did first was we checked the fuses, and we always do that on, on blower motors because the amperage is so high. We're going to check these fuses first because they pull a lot of amperage, and, they're, and they have a tendency of blowing the, blowing the fuse. If it was a fuse, I probably wouldn't have made the video, and like I say in most of my videos, if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. So what we got going on is we checked all the fuses, we went into the cab of the truck, we pulled down the wiring harness for the actual uh, for the blower motor itself we had no power I used a power probe but you can use a multimeter just set it to DC and be able to read 12 volts the better thing about the power probe is one of the things it tells me it tells me the voltage is going through it but it also tells me if it's a if it's a ground or a positive and that's and that's really good for me because I know how to read that stuff um, so it's it's a much more helpful tool as far as the multimeter goes in, in automotive applications then we pulled out the blower motor resistor and I noticed that there wasn't any signal coming out of it, but it didn't ultimately become the problem, which I'm going to get to here in a second. What I needed to do was I wanted to check for continuity because it seemed like this wire wasn't feeding the positive wire here, and I believe it's this positive wire that's right there, and then also this is, this is orange, so that tells me this wire is positive and that. Well, I needed to get the connector apart, but I couldn't pull the connector apart, and I, was, and I knew exactly what the problem was when I felt that. The problem is that it's melted together on the inside. And that goes back to what I was saying about amperage. It pulls so much amperage, it actually melted the two pieces together. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out of here, and we're going to splice the wires together, and we're going to see if we still have blower motor. I already know, obviously, that it works, so really isn't much. Then we're going to throw the blower motor back resistor back inside. Now, to talk about blower motor resistors. Generally, you can tell if a blower motor resistor is bad with just about any of the big three manufacturers, Ford, Chrysler, or Chevrolet, by only having speeds like two or three or five or one and da 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 da. That generally will tell you right away that your blower motor resistor is bad and you need to replace it. Almost all the time it's that way. Now, in this situation, I had absolutely no blower motor at all. And if you if you think your blower motor is bad, I'll tell you what, there's brushes inside it, and I don't know if I can give you a visual, but there's the blower motor. You can basically just give it a couple taps, and if the blower motor is bad, it'll start working. And it's going to stop working again if it starts working and it seems to be working fine. It's probably going to stop again, but that just tells you that the little brushes that go together there on there are not making contact, and when you hit them, them brushes go back together and they make, they make the magnetic connection that, that in turn turns the motor. And everything else so first thing you want to do if you don't have a selector switch bad blower motor resistor if you tap on the bottom of the motor either with a hammer or something you know like the end of a screwdriver you give her some good good little knocks you don't have to beat the crap out of it but give her a couple good little knocks if it don't work if it turns on you got a bad blower motor if you put the resistor in and then this still doesn't work you probably got a bad connection always look for uh, electrical problems where they connect Generally, wires just don't break in the middle of a, you know, down here in your door. They're not going to break unless you got like a leak or something like that. So hopefully this stuff helps you out. Think about connectors if you're dealing with electrical problems. It's generally not far away from a connection where a connection's made, especially with anything electrical. It, it, wires just don't break. You know, the, fairy, the wire fairy doesn't come in and cut the wire underneath here. There's a reason it happened, and you got to think about it from a logical standpoint. Hopefully this video is helpful. Remember that if anybody else can do it, you can do it too. Like us on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on Facebook. Subscribe, do all that jazz. Try to keep a lighter with you just in case you get so ticked that you have to burn something down. Have a great day.